another thing is that, of course, you have to aim. Uh, a lot of times people, um, they look at a target, but they're not aiming at that target. And sometimes you're going to be lying to the right or to the left, and this, this causes a lot of problems because uh, you're always going to try to hit it to where you're looking. But if you're lying too far right, then you have a tendency to pull it back. If you're lying too far left, then you're going to have a tendency to push it. So by squaring that blade up, though, and then squaring your body off to that straight, that imaginary straight line, now we have a good chance of taking that club straight back and straight through on that straight line. And then you, if you hit a few shots, and uh, you'll be able to tell where you're lined up if you don't try to make any kind of adjustments or uh, trying to maneuver the, uh, the swing or the club face uh, to get it to your target. So uh, then you'll be able to tell uh, where you're lined up, which is just so key. You need to pick a target, though. Um, when I say lined up, there's, you've got to hit, hit to a, a flag, a tree. Uh, if you're a spot liner, that's OK. Uh, but you always have to have something that you're trying to hit to. Uh, and that is just one of the greatest things Harvey gave to me, besides my grip and, and square blade. But uh, he taught me how to aim. And I could never hit a shot without aiming. And when you go out to the driving range, and uh, gosh, I, I, how many times I've heard this, well, I hit the ball so good on the driving range. And, and of course, you've got all these balls and this wide open space, and uh, you're not uh, paying attention to where you're hitting the ball. So when you get to the first tee, you think, oh, gosh, now I've got to hit a fairway. And so that, uh, so make those balls on the driving range work for you. And this is all a pre-shot. Uh, you can do this pre-shot, and then you don't have to think about it anymore. And you see the girls and the guys play on uh, TV, and they all stand behind the ball looking out towards the target, and they're trying to get that straight line uh, where they want the ball to go. And that's, there's a reason for that. Uh, it's important so that uh, when they set that club down now on that line that they want the ball to travel, then they square off to that. And then they feel fairly comfortable that they're going to have a good chance, uh, albeit it's not the only thing, but it's the good chance of uh, hitting the ball where you want it to go. So uh, these are pre-shot, and uh, you can do this. And on the driving range, this is something that you, you should do this every shot. And pretty soon it becomes a habit. And uh, I dare say, uh, after a while, you'll probably never be able to hit another ball without doing that. But this is all taken care of before you ever hit a ball. And you get that square blade. Set those hands on there, get that face square, square off your body to that, and then try to take it back on that straight line to the target. But you need to hit to a target. Uh, like I said, and the smaller the target, uh, the better off you are. Um, you know, sometimes we get a great expanse out there. Well, we've got this big fairway or something like that. But the more you can, because that's what you're dry, drawing that straight line to, is to a, a, a small target. Not, not all of this, but just right to either to a tree, to a flag, a rock, uh, anything, you know, or a spot, if that's what you do. But you just have to aim. There's just, I just can't tell you how important that is. So, uh, but it all starts right here, starts right there. And when you, when you see that club go this way or that way, start over until you can sit that club down on that and with your feet together, and then you just square off to that uh, club face. <laughs>